Hi everyone, it's Marcy Besker. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. It is Black Friday here and I decided to go live today and just kind of look at some kits and paper pumpkins and get some ideas. Let me make sure my volume is working on my page. Yes, it is. So I'm sure you guys have all gone out and went shopping. I did not. Um, I have decided I don't want to do that <laughs> this year, so I am not. Uh, please say hi. I, I know it's not my normal time to be live, um, so I'd love to see who's on and who's here to uh, visit with me. So what I decided to do today is I know there's a lot of people out there that don't know what to get some people on your list. And hi, Diane. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Um, hi, Mary. Um, and so I decided I have, these are only a few of my kits. Whoops, here, let's go. Kits. I also have a stack of paper pumpkins, but I have a couple here. I just kind of want to go through. Um, I decided to send these uh, to paper pumpkins to my granddaughter, and she loved them. Hi, Danielle, Linda, and Dawn. Welcome, everybody. Um... I did have a really nice relaxing Thanksgiving. We're actually dog sitting. Um, my son has a schnauzer and a, um, hold on, he is a, not a labradoodle, a golden doodle. And this dog grew from like this big to like huge in no time. And so uh, his name is Honey, but I think his name should be Moose because he's huge. We only have our little mini um, um, multi-poo. So this dog is just, and he, I forget, he's only like a 10-month-old puppy and he wants to snuggle, but he's huge. So we are dog sitting. So we're kind of going house back and forth. Um, we have them here during the day. We go over and kind of let them sleep in their own crates and everything there. And we stay there with them. So anyway, um, so that's what we've been doing. And that's what we did Thanksgiving Thanksgiving was very quiet. My son is visiting um, his in-laws and then my uh, everybody will be back here for Christmas and my daughter will be here and it's going to be a lot of fun. Our other daughter is in Montana and she's coming earlier than Christmas because she's got um, her boyfriend and the kids and stuff back there. So she's going to be with them. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, hi, Terry. Patricia, Rebecca, hello everybody. So I know it's not my normal day and it's not kind of a normal thing, but I thought I'd um, jump in and do a little bit of um, kind of looking at some different card kits and paper pumpkin. Um, my, my goal here is to refresh everybody on what is available, but also what I would kind of do differently with the kits, which I haven't had time to, which is why I, I thought today would be a great idea to kind of address this. And then also, I'm going to post it on my personal Facebook page for family and friends that maybe aren't crafters and see that this could be a really good idea for them. Um, if you guys have somebody in mind that might be interested in something like this, um, this would be a great way to have a little, it's a great stocking, stocking stuffer or a great little gift to have on hand for somebody. Also, like I mentioned, my six-year-old granddaughter loves them. When I saw her, she's like, when's my next one coming? So she's very excited about it. So um, even if you think you have somebody that's not crafty, this is really a great idea because you really don't need to be crafty if you want to do it straight from the book. And so um, we're going to do a little bit of that today. So I'm going to just take a peek at a few. I stacked them up here and I do not know what's what. I do have a list of them here. And so we're just going to kind of take a look. But before we jump into that, I want to remind you about Bingo. It is going to be the 14th. It's coming up very quickly. I'd love for you guys to join. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, we I've got two cards already done. One is a fun fancy fold and I used the um, contour, oh where did my list go? Yeah I think I, sh I did use artistically, no let me think, let me think, sorry. I used, I have one on days to remember, 
color and contour was the other one, but I think I used a different sentiment. So I'll get those all listed. I still have two cards to go. And so I will um, get that all listed when I have them. And then the other thing is I do have my December code up already. Um, November's is still up, so you can still use that one for now. And then I'm going to show you quickly here how to go into where you want to look for the kits. So when you are on my blog, when you go to shop, so just scroll here to shop and it says available kits. Okay, so before you go in there, on the right side here, it says shop. That will take you into my whole store. I do have the host codes for November and December up. You can use either one. If you're, if you're gonna shop in November, please use November. If you accidentally use December, that's okay. November is going to be going away. So I decided to put them both up there for this video. The penguins are back in. That's a huge deal. All right. So you click on shop. You go to available kits. And it should open a new screen. And it's going to take you into Stamping Up. And it's going to take you right to the kits. So you're just going to go here and you're going to scroll down and you can see all the kits that are still available. And if they are not available, it will say currently unavailable. Okay, so that just kind of gives you an idea where you can go to shop for these. All right, so back. Yay! So that just gives you a little idea. Now you could just go on my page copy the code that you need, go in and go shopping, and um, you'll have your stuff there. The kits I'm showing today, including the subscriptions for Paper Pumpkin, should all be listed below and will also be on my blog when we get there. Um, if you, I'll be posting the blog link after this video. So let's just jump in and get started and see what we have. Hi, Kayleen. So here's the first box. I just pulled it off. I don't know. Okay, so this one is called Precious Parcel. And this, I believe, was a paper pumpkin before and came back, if I'm correct, because I have a refill kit for this before this became a kit. So paper pumpkin and our kits are very, very much alike. Now, I kind of did open this one. Some of them I've opened and looked at, and some of them I played a little bit, and some of them I have not. So we're just going to kind of show you what's in this one. It comes much neater when you get it. It'll be wrapped in plastic and you'll have an ink pad if there is ink. So this one is called Precious Parcel. It is only $12 for this kit. Okay, $12. And that means it does not have a stamp set or an ink pad. Okay, if it's $19, there is a stamp set and an ink pad in it. Okay, so this one no stamp, no ink. You could just make these all by yourself. No ink needed. So if you have somebody that, you know, is, feels like, oh, nope, can't do it, um, it gives you pictures. So you can kind of just go right along. And this one, I did two of them. So um, there's two different designs. So I'm just going to show you those. And they're right here. Um, I'm going to just kind of go over all of the kits really quickly for you. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. I'm going to back out. I think this is from my last video. I did some coloring or something. Okay. So let me fix my camera a little. Oh, my light. Okay. So hi, Carol and Susan. How are you? So on this one, what I did is, let me just show you on one really quickly. We'll do this one. I already have one available done or mostly done, but we're just going to show you. So it says, take this first piece right here, which is what we have, and you're going to fold this up and you're going to fold this in, it shows. So that's that. We're going to take our twine. It shows we want... 12 inches and right here it shows we're going to take one of these little paper clips so we're going to do that put this aside okay so we'll just set this aside we're going to do 12 inches and I'm on a different um, 
grid here right real quick so I'm just going to bring in my ruler and we're just going to do 12 inches so let's cut this okay 12 inches there we go oh and I should mention on your paper pumpkin I, I mean or your kits you have a ruler right here so it's upside down right here's a ruler okay so you have the ruler here and then this looks like it's um, um, centimeters okay so there we go all right so let's just keep this up here and we'll look at it and now it says sending wishes we're going to grab that sentiment okay we're just going to put that in the box okay so you're going to notice that these are in different languages because they do go um, to other places in the world and so they'll have some French and and um, German I believe oh, is that German I think it is so we're going to take off sending wishes right here let's move our string we're going to bring this in and it shows you to put it right underneath I know this is where it's going to get kind of, let me bring it back in a little bit. It shows you to put it right underneath here. So I'm just going to go right here and add it. And I'm just taking the point and putting it there in the middle. Super simple. And now it says put two of your little gold corners on. So we have our little corners here. So I'm going to take one. And what I'm going to do is just take a pokey tool. Um, but you don't have to. I'm old and blind, so I'm just going to do that. All right, and then we're going to take another one. And put it here. So this is super simple for somebody that, you know, says, oh, I don't know how to craft. I don't know what to do. My daughter is very crafty when it comes to um, repurposing furniture and decorating and stuff like that but she's not much of a paper crafter not saying that she can't do it she just chooses that that's just not her thing okay so now it says get a stamp so we're gonna look we have these sentiments several pages of them here and this one said to grab the orange one so we did here's our little squares here's our different pages our inserts for our cards and we have the one we're working on now. And then we have these with the little postcard. Really cute. They have such a pretty vintage look. Okay, then we have, I'm going to skip over and show you the supplies real quick. The envelopes are the same for both cards. So we have an envelope here. Look how pretty that is. So there's our envelope. And so here are the other cards we have. And I'm looking for the postage stamps. I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> okay, and I do have, oh, here they are right here. So we're going to grab, it says grab the little yellow one. So this is the little yellow one, and they're just kind of, you know, you just punch them out. Nice and simple. Look how cute. Little daffodils on there. And this is where we're going to take our, I'm going to move this to our box now. Get it out of the way. Here's our little paper clip. We're just going to clip that on there. Have our little five cent stamp there. We're going to do our bow and it looks like right here we've got two little holes right where our bow goes. Now it says tie a bow right there, so I'm guessing we're just going to go back in the back like this and thread it through. And then back out. Alright, so there we go. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is... Um, yeah, my daughter can really, I mean, she can be crafty. She just doesn't have the time being a mom and working full time and everything. And um, she has a lot of other activities that she's involved in. And so um, these kits are perfect. It's, it's so funny because she'll tell me, Mom, you don't know. I needed a card at the last minute. And I pulled out that 
you know, kit you gave me or, you know, I'll make her some cards now and again. She said, I did that and I, I sent them off, you know, had a card ready because I had a gift I had to do. So there you go. There's your bow, your card. And then this is tucked in right there. So it just tucks in right there. So this stays up here. And you could, if you wanted to adhere that, you can write your little note right there. And that is card number one out of this kit. And the other one, I'll just show you, because I did do, when I first got the kit, I did do them. They're just so cute, but I didn't add the bows on them. And then this is the other one. And I didn't put my blue sentiment there, so I should do that really quick. Sending love. So they all say sending love in different languages. So we're going to do the blue one on here. And again, I'm just going straight down. And it kind of gives you like a little outline right there that's really easy to put it on. So there you go. There's the first two. How cute are those? So that's the first kit. Again, this one's called Precious Parcel. You get eight cards with envelopes. So here are your envelopes. How cute are those? You've got them decorated in the front and in the back. A cute little note. And it's just a really sweet thing just to say hi. You could also, you know, add a gift card on there or something if you wanted to have a little something there or tape it there. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that you could just use this really quickly or just drop a little note in or add it to a gift. And they're so quick and nice to have. So I wanted to show you. Um, a little bit of all of them so we're just going to put this one back aside again it's listed below precious parcel card kit is that one okay what's next I do not know all right next is sentimental rose card kit now this one does have a stamp set and I'll show you the stamp set put some white behind it here so we have happy birthday, congratulations, thank you, thinking of you, happy Mother's Day for you, and best wishes. Now those are great sentiments, especially if you are a new stamper. I'm getting the very end trying to learn when you are on. Oh, Tammy, you know what? Today I'm normally not on Fridays. Normally I'm on Wednesdays at 530 and Sundays at noon, and that's Pacific time. I'm in California. So today just happens to be, so if you subscribe below and you hit notification and get notified for all, you'll get a notification. I try to post ahead of time when I'm coming on. So it gives everybody a, a heads up. I, I kind of try to um, schedule my, my lives. So this is a perfect stamp set to get, you know, for an everyday, you know, card that you might need for something. So I'm going to look. This is gray granite. I normally don't open these up. So I'm just going to grab my stamp pad because I have it. And let's see what this one is about. So here are the three different cards. You get nine in this set and you get a plastic box. So this would be a great gift that if you wanted, you could create them for somebody. So here is the box. So you have your acetate box you can put together and then you can add your cards in it and this could be a gift you could just wrap a little bow around it so um, let's get busy and do one all right so i'm going to use this we're going to pull out the stamp set we need an envelope and there's three there's different kinds i think these are oh yeah so so you have the green with the print you've got the yellow with the looks like circles when I get these, I look at them, but I've been so busy that I have not had a chance. And this is one of the things I want to do. I have some team members coming, and we're going to get some of our things done. So you have three different kinds of envelopes here. Okay, so we'll put those aside and decide what we're going to use. And let's do... Oh, let me see here. Okay, let's do this one right here with the with the print. Okay, so we're gonna get some embellishments. There's some dimensionals and some thread. Here's some really pretty cardstock. 
and here's some leaves oh maybe i made a card because oh no here it is so here's some cards different card stock that we have different pieces that we're going to have we have some corrugated paper and everything is in this and that's what's so nice there's a label okay so here are some cards i'm going to pull all the envelopes aside here's some more corrugated this one's really long so i'm guessing that this is going to be the belly band for here as part of your gift they give you even to decorate the outside all right when you're doing this you're going to get a block like this so when you have a stamp one you're going to get a block so that you can use i'll use my own block i like to keep the um, ink pad on the blocks and give those out as gifts here's our label so let's go ahead and do this one it's going to be a happy mother's day so we're going to use the green tab looks like we're going to use this okay here's a green tab right here all right so let's turn we're going to go to the happy mother's day No, no, I just decided to go live today and just kind of play with our kits and show people in case they're looking for a good idea for a gift. And so I just decided to go today. Okay, so we have the cards in here. There's several different cards with the yellow and with the print and then with the circles. And so the print looks like it's going to go with the printed envelope right so we don't need those and then you have all your labels in here and you even have the corrugated when it says so and it looks like we are going to need one so we have a corrugated and our label all right so let's put some of this back and just see what we need all right we're going to need the block to use for the leaves so i'm going to bring out a block Hi Robin, welcome. Not too terribly far from me. All right, so we have our leaves and we have our flower. So it says to bring the flower out also. Now, the one thing I do recommend is on some of the cards, when you get these card bases, these are not the thick card stock. This is the thicker card stock. This is very thick. This is kind of regular cardstock. Okay, so in my opinion, I would prefer to take the heavy cardstock. I would probably cut this off and attach it on top of the heavier cardstock. That is my opinion because I like a thick, heavy um, cardstock. The other thing you could do is you could add a panel inside and that'll you know help make it a little heavier, but for this video purposes we're just going to go on with this and not worry about it so uh, we are going to just continue on as if you were somebody receiving this or giving this to somebody you can kind of know this is how it is other than me using my large pad okay so we have this card base and it looks like we are going to need one of these so if you look here we're going to be using one of these card bases right here okay so this is what we're stamping on so i'm going to move this over i'm going to bring this in because we are switching back and forth to different cards all right we're going to move all that out of the way this is how quick and easy it is you're going to take your stamp now if you are a brand new stamper the first thing you want to do is you're going to ink it up and then i like to just kind of I stamp and turn you're just getting any residue from the factory off of your stamps and just making sure that it's going to have a nice clean image all right so now bringing this back in let me see if I can set it right there for you we're going to stamp the rows one time and it doesn't look like it really matters which way so I'm going to go this way and we are going to stamp it right here in the middle 
and you can stamp it just a little off it just looks more realistic that way all right and then you can come in with your leaves and stamp there and come down here and stamp right there and that gives your flower some color hi Sharon and so it just kind of gives your flower some color and your paper some texture we're going to bring in our little label on the next thing it says put your stamp on the block use your ink and ink this so we're going to pull in our thank you is what this card says so we're going to pull thank you in okay uh, hopefully my head's not in the way again this one is called sentimental rose all right so we did our thank you and now it says pop it up so we're going to bring in our dimensionals that we have here and it shows you put two of them on your thank you and then you're going to bring in we have it says a long, our long corrugated and it shows to put glue dots on these and let me see because that looks like glue dots and I might have taken these out let's take a look in here real quick if I don't I mean I have some we can use it. I might have taken these the glue dots out for traveling or something oh no here they are so here we go we have glue dots right here and we also sell them in a roll which this rolls almost out but um, I could use those if I wanted but we're going to go ahead and use this just as if we were using our kit and it says to put three on the back of here so it shows you how many that should be substantial enough to hold the image okay and then it shows to put four on the back of our panel that we just stamped on so we're gonna put four my poor husband if you guys can hear him sneezing he's got a terrible cold so poor guy he's by the fireplace watching TV okay so we have our four and we have our three here so what we're gonna do is bring our card base in let's take our little it has a little waxy paper on top once you put your dimensionals on you just pull that right off when you use glue dots off the roll which I prefer I'll show you they're just like this and they're right here and you can just pull it and stick it right on or just stick your image right to the glue dot and it's much easier but for those that are new it's nice to know that these are available okay so we're gonna go on the right side which is the opening of the card so I like to just hold one corner down right where you want it and then lay this right up and then just go just like that and now we're going to do our sentiment oops we got to take these little things off so see it's just a really a matter of just following your picture super simple great great idea for a gift for somebody so this is just going to go right across the middle of your rows okay and then these same thing have little stickies on them and now you're going to take your thank you and just go right above that and just stick it right there okay now it says 12 inches of our twine which is right here so i'm going to put our dimensionals and our glue dots back in here i'm going to use our ruler this time yay me and we're going to do 12 inches uh, here's zero to nine and to three so right about here we're going to cut 
I do too. Oh good Katie, this is just our second set. We're just kind of going over some kits. Hi Carol. All right, so now, oops, I'm sorry. Now it shows to go around the inside of our card. Okay, so this is where if you cut your front panel off and adhere it to a thicker card base, you could put the thread between the card base and your front panel. So it's totally up to you what you want. And this says 12 inches. Oh, that's a very small bow for 12 inches, I'm going to have to say. You guys know how I like to do my bows, and that doesn't seem like that's possible with 12 inches. So we're just going to do a little tiny bow. So I would recommend a little longer, but maybe uh, keep that in mind. I don't know who's making the little 12 inch bows with this paper, but there we go. And now, I mean, it's cute, but I would like it straight and there's really not a lot of ribbon there. Okay, now it says take your embellishments and you're gonna put one here. Then you're gonna take a little one and put it right up here. It even shows you your placement. So it's nice and simple. Thanks, Becky. No problem. I'm glad you guys are subscribed so you guys can get the notifications. But look how cute this little card is. It's a cute little thank you card to throw in a bag, throw in a gift, send a quick little note to somebody saying thank you um, for thinking of me or whatever, you know, just, you know, whatever. It's a really nice little quick note. And then, so here's the other ones we have on this kit. These are all the supplies you get all nicely laid out. You know, I'm opening a box that I rummaged through and looked at, but these are all the cards. And then you have your envelope. So how I do my cards, if I'm giving them as a gift, I'm going to turn my back flap over and then I'm going to take my card and I'm going to turn it like this and I'm going to put it in here. Okay, so, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm a crafter, I don't need to look at the kits, but don't forget, sometimes you just pick up little hints along the way, so hopefully you'll find something that's useful. Okay, so now you have your envelope here, here's your card, you can just put it inside, we didn't decorate the box, but they've got a really cute little box here, and that big flower... I believe goes to the front of the box it looks like so you're gonna put your flower like this you're gonna put the little for two for you some ribbon and you're gonna put a little leaf on there look how cute that is on the front of your box and then you're gonna have all your cards inside this box for a little gift so this is such a cute kit again it's called sentimental rose it is linked below all the kits will be linked below. Thanks, Becky. So um, these are the kinds of things I need to finish and spend some time with. And so I thought, I'm going to share this with you guys because I know some of you have these laying around. And I know that some of you might say, oh my gosh, I know the exact person that could use this kit as a gift. You get all these cute envelopes. They can all fit in that little package. A lot of your, you know, coloring and that kind of stuff's already done for you. So that's what's really nice is you could just grab it and, you know, do a little minimal stamping. So let me clean up these stamps because I am putting them back in the package and we'll go to the next package. Oops, let's not forget the thread and the box. But this is such a great kit. And again... You have, thank you, congratulations, happy birthday, thinking of you, a happy Mother's Day for you, best wishes, and you've got this little sprinkle right here. It looks like like little pebbles or something, so um, I love anything with that kind of stuff in it. Oh, you know what? No, it doesn't show that we use it, but I am looking... And it looks like this one 
might have a little bit of speckles on it. Some of these cards already do. So see how these already have like some speckles on them. And so when you do other cards, then this would, you know, to go with it, maybe you want to make create your own with this stamp set. Um, that's something to think about. Then you have that little speckle thingy there to, to do it with. Okay, well, I lost the top of my stamp. So let me see. Not surprising. It'll show up. It's probably in here. So what I will do is just, oh, here it is. So my goal is to just get these done and have them available to hand out. Um, for those of you that are demonstrators, these are great to have done and add your business card or whatever. Okay, so let's move this one on. I folded that box and now it's popping up on me. Okay, so that was Sentimental Rose. Now we're going to our next box, which I don't know what it is. Thanks, Terry. I appreciate it. Hi, Tashana. Yeah, I just decided to pop on. We're just going through some kits and some different things. And my goal is I'm going to post this on Facebook and um, my personal one and hope that some friends and family might like an idea for, um, for Christmas gifts. So this one's called Petal Note Card. And it's only $12. There is no stamp set, no ink pad. So we have some envelopes, and like I said, some of these I've looked through, and then I said, oh, so cute, I gotta do them, and then I put them aside, and I need to get back to them. So this one has little blue triangles. This one has little pink polka dots. And this one has little green stripes. So there's three different envelopes, and they usually coordinate, like this one has little blue triangles on it. And um, we'll have to look at both of those a little closer because I can't tell on the picture with my light glaring on it. But look how cute these are. So this one is pretty much done. I mean, I'm looking at the picture alone. We're going to grab congratulations and put that on there so, and add some bling. So let's see what it says. Okay, it says add your gems on there, which I need to find my gems. So here's my gems. Here's our words. Here we get some flowers and some leaves. We get larger flowers for some of the other cards and some gold on there. So we'll, we'll do one of those really quick. So maybe we'll do some of the, a couple of these. Okay, so this one, it just says add three glue dots for time. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add my regular glue dots, but you guys saw they're in the kit. They're super simple. Just add them on there because I want to get to several kits here to show you guys. I want to make sure I go a little faster. So this goes here. You're going to add it right here. So I'm just going to align this up and eyeball it because you know we're crafting doesn't have to be exact and now it says add some embellishments and it looks like we're adding two gold ones so we have some gold and some like iridescent peach in here and you get a lot of extra stuff I have to tell you in these kits you will get a lot of extra okay so it says put two gold on there so what I do is I pick up my, my sequin and I'm going to put it right on the glue dot. Okay, these are a little bigger than what's in the package. Oops. <laughs> and we are going to put one right there. And we're going to put the other one over here and these got I'm gonna have to move these there we go okay so there's one card look how simple that was and how quick I know Becky I really like that one a lot that was probably my favorite one well that's probably why I bought the extra refill even before 
the kits came out. It was a paper pumpkin that was an old paper pumpkin. And there was some kits. I think it was on like a clearance rack or something. And so I grabbed it because I really liked it. And so now I have a lot of it. So I was glad about that. So that is that super simple one. And then let's just do this other one really quick. So we can take a bone folder. Now these are things that you don't have to have. You could use, even you could use a block and just do that. And now it looks like we're going to take, okay, let's see, number two. We're just going to do number two really fast here and see what it looks like. This is how fast these go together. It says grab an orange flower, which is right here. You're just going to grab, you're going to have these extra little pieces. I'm going to put that on the outside. I'm going to grab the purple flower. Be very careful. Okay, there's the, pur the, I mean, the purple. It's orange, not purple. And it shows, the card's going to go this way. You can tell that this is a little whiter here. And it says put it right in the middle, which is what I'm going to do. And now... It shows on your picture what you can do and how to do it. So I'm going to take a green leaf that has the holes in it. So I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to put it right here. And then it says take one of these skinny little flowers and just put it right on top of that. So I'm just covering it right up, right up with the the stem, so I don't want to see the stem. And then it says take another leaf. Oh, that was supposed to be a small leaf, but that's okay. We're going to switch it up. Now we'll take a small leaf. That's what I get for trying to do it quickly. But that's okay. Small leaf over here. And now you're going to take the outline of the flower that you just took out. They don't waste anything on here. And then we're just going to add that. right up here and then it shows you take a little orange flower a little orange flower oh Gianna I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed that and then I'm going to add that there then we're going to just take a thank you right here now the options you have if you choose to do kits use the the glue dots that you have in there or you can pull out dimensionals and you can pop this up so you don't have to use the glue dots that they give you so i have dimensionals and so i'm going to just show you a little bit of alternatives you could do um, if you get a package of dimensionals just add that on there and now you're really doing something a little bit different and people love popping things up so if you do decide on the kit doing the dimensionals and popping stuff up is huge now we're going to take three more rhinestones and let me see it looks like the pink ones are on the last card so we're just going to go gold again so we're going to grab three one two three gold and there's the pink kind of iridescent ones those go on the last card and we won't do the last card but i'll show it to you again just so you can kind of get an idea of what we have but look at you have one card left and there's i think three of each but you'll have plenty left over all right so this in fact my glue dots are just about done okay so i'm just going to add them on the glue dot that's what i like to do and just add right there all right and then take them off and it says put one there it says put one over here my glue dots are sliding off. These are a little bit bigger, so you just have to kind of move them right onto the glue dot. Okay, there we go. 
All right. So there's that card. Really cute. Super simple. Like I said, to me, um, I would put this on a thicker cardstock. But it's a great, great way. But that's me being, you know, a crafter that I use this pro the products all the time. This is perfect for somebody that's just starting out. So um, a great, great kit. So here are two of the cards, where did my other card go, that we have for this set. And then the third one is this one here. Okay. So that's the third one. Really cute cards. The envelopes are adorable. Look at that. So you've got your own stationery here. A little thank you card. You could do the little green green striped one. Again, I like to take the card, put it in like this. That way you can look at the card. You can know what it is. If you have something in the inside, you could just pull it out, look at it, and you also know which envelope you have attached to it. And they're perfect and ready to go. Okay, so there's a couple. Another kit. That one's called Petal Notes. You've got all this beautiful Blackberry Bliss colors. Now, when you're looking at your kits and you're wondering, what am I going to use? What do I need? Um, you can just look. Your coordinating stamping up colors are. And so when you look at the kits and you open it up when you're in the shop, it will tell you what your coordinating colors are. So if you decide, you know what, I want to cut this off and I'm going to put it on Blackberry Bliss, you can do that. And Or if you just want to take the fronts you know, like this decorative card and then just cut it out or whatever you want to do. You can change things up. And I mean, who would have ever thought Blackberry Bliss goes with these three colors here? But look how cute. And it's just so, it looks so nice together. And then there's your envelope. And then there's your card with all the different colors. So there's things that I would not have put those colors together, not with the Blackberry Bliss. Okay, so that is another one. Again, this one's called Petal Notes Card Kit, and this is only $12 because there is not a stamp set and die, or a stamp set and ink pad. The stamp set and ink pads are $19. All right, so here is another one. We're kind of going through quickly because I just kind of want to give you an idea of what's available. This one is called Notes of Cheer. This one, I think I bought several of because I thought it was so pretty. And the notes of Cheer is $12. There's no stamping. Look at all these sentiments you have. Now, keep in mind that if you are not going to use this German um, sentiment, you can pop this out and turn it over. Okay, you've got, you turn it over, you've got these little dots to to poke out so just poke those out and it is a sentiment now some people say oh but it's upside down you can definitely tell so let me show you what to do so poke your little things out there okay so I'm trying not to poke my finger but you guys know how to do that it's easier if you hold it down and pull your little image up if they're cut nicely hold it down and pull it up there you go now, take your bone folder and just kind of go over it. Or, you know, if you're new and you're not a stamper and you're just starting, take your, your block that you get in your kit, if it's a stamping kit, and just kind of go over it and it really just smooths out your edges. And then um, it's, just, it's just there and it's a nice sentiment that you can use for something else. Okay, so we have some beautiful little rhinestones here. And a lot of sentiments. So here is the kit. Look at how pretty this is. This one was my favorite, I think, when I first got them. So they're nice and big and bold. Let me move this out of the way. I'm running into my Sunday's project here, so let me move it over. Okay, so we have this. Okay, now I'm going to pull it back out just a little bit. All right, so we have our butterflies. We have our blue envelopes. 
Oh, this one went on the other card. That's okay. Um, this is all you have here is just this laser cut, but you pull this open, you pop that there. Okay, so we're going to make that card. All right, so we don't need that. And then look at these laser cuts. Look how pretty those are. They're colored and everything already for you. This one's going to go on a white note card, so that one we don't need. Here's our sentiments, all of our sentiments that come in and you got. And again, like I said, they are in a different language, but you've got, you can just flip them over and they'll become whatever you want. Okay, so here's a white card base. That's going to go with this one. Now your laser pieces are going to come in a plastic bag so that they stay safe. All right, we don't need that one. So we've got this one and this one. And the butterfly is going to have a pink envelope. All right. So this butterfly, another option is you could take this apart and just keep the butterfly. You could color this and, you know, do your own thing on it. I mean, there's some options you can do, but these are little cards all in themselves. So we're going to do that there. We don't need these. We've already done them. Okay, so we have the green is for, I mean, this is how quick this one is, that one. The pink is for that one. This one, I need a little note of cheer. So here we go again. We have many dimensionals now, our glue dots and our pearls. So that one goes there. We need... Our blue envelope goes over here. All right, we need a little note of cheer. It's going to be this one right here. And we're just going to pull these out. Now, if you have little tabs on them, this one doesn't, but sometimes you'll get little tabs. Just trim those off. We got the sentiment for that, and we need the green one for this. So I need to find my, oh, here they are. You're on my mind, so we'll pull that out. This is the one I just did, but that's okay. I think I threw it back in the box. We'll just clean that up. So yeah, hold that down and that kind of helps a lot. Okay, so all these can go back in. I think we're good. And let's start with one and work our way. So we'll do the butterfly first. And all we need to do, and sometimes you could just look at the picture and kind of get an idea of what you need to do, right? So this one says, take three dimensionals. Again, I'm going to go to the larger ones because they're easier. And you could do it like this. You could just put dimensional, 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 okay? You're going to put this right across your butterfly. I'm going to go right here on the lower of the wings. Okay, and now you're going to take your rhinestones. I mean, these are perfect for gifts for people. And you know, it's funny because my daughter was at first was like, oh yeah, I don't know if I need them. This one says two large ones and two smaller ones. And so this is a large up at the top. You can hardly tell, and it says put it here. The other large one is going to go right here. And then it says take your little ones. Um, but then, like I said, she said, oh, my gosh, you don't know how handy those cards came in when I needed a card for a birthday or coworker or whatever. And so, you know, it's funny. The people might think they don't need them, but, but they do. Okay, so there, that's the card. Super simple and super fast. And this one, again, you could put it in, you know, like this, just for purposes of having it available to you. And so you can see what it is. I always put them like this backwards so the flap doesn't catch on anything. And so you could just do it like this while it's out and ready. And then when you need it, 
you know, use that one. So that's one card. We'll set that aside. The other card is this one here, and it says put dimensionals on it. So we are going to do it this way. This is what the picture shows. So we'll put dimensionals. We've got little, little ones. Now, this one shows to put it in the four corners. I prefer to put one in the middle of a card base that's this big. So I'm going to take one more and just put it like right here. And I'll probably put one like right here. Just so it kind of doesn't cave in the middle. So I like to be generous, a little more generous, but it doesn't... Um, it, you'll have plenty, so they give you a lot. All right, so we're going to take this and we're just going to put this right on the front of the card. Just kind of center it. Super simple. And our sentiment is right here. Again, dimensionals. Can you tell I've been fluffing my wreaths up? Look at my poor hand. My hand's really got, uh, oh, I took three off on accident, so let's just use it. All right. Has anybody not purchased the kits? And now they're thinking, oh, maybe I should think about this. Like I said, this is a great way. This just goes right down here. A great way to show the kit. Again, two large ones. Oops, where did it go? I have one here. And a large one right here. And then, and another thing about these is it really kind of teaches you, like the placement of these, for instance, is you're like, oh, I would have never thought to put two here or one here or one there but it's bringing the eye in towards your butterflies right and the rhinestones are just so pretty and add, I mean look how pretty this card is so that's card number two and then card number three which is right here so again it tells you you take this and you add your glue dots on the back and I think my glue dots are just about done here, but we're going to use them up. So I'm going to put a glue. You know what? I'm going to use the smaller ones because these are very small areas, which are these are made for that because they're much smaller. So let's just do that to see how they just fit right on there. And these are a little bit bigger. All right, and now it says take these off and stick it on our card base. We are going to be putting the sentiment right across the middle, so I'm not concerned about the edges or anything. All right, so let's take this and our card base. We're just going to put this right in the center of our card base. Okay, they have it with the pink up on the top, so let's just do what they have. But totally up to you. I'm just kind of eyeballing here. All right, so there we have that. And now our sentiment, it says to put it down with um, glue dots, but I'm going to do dimensionals, and I'm going to use my larger ones. So again, this is where you can just kind of pull in what you have. Or I highly suggest, if you're new and you're wanting to give this as a gift, um, they can use what's in the package, no doubt. But I prefer the larger dimensionals and the glue dots that are in the packet, you know, on their own. And you'll have plenty to last for many kits. I've used glue dots and dimensionals for so many things that my husband's like, uh-oh, we need to fix this. And I'm like, okay. And... I pull out the glue dots and the dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to do that. It also shows we need the little yellow piece below, which I am always here for you today and always. So make sure you grab the English one. 
We'll do those in the glue dots. And I guess that is what it showed. Dimensionals for the large one and, and the glue dots for the little one. So that's perfect. That makes more sense. All right. And then just slide this right underneath here. All right, there's that. And now our dimensionals. Yeah, Sharon, they are just really, really great for exactly that. All right, it shows one here. And like I said, my granddaughter, it just makes me happy because now she's always wanting to do them. She's like, when is my next one coming? Because she does the paper pumpkin, so she's always looking for it. Okay, so in the picture, I should have went up a little bit because I didn't realize I had that. Um, but that's okay. That's all about, we're going to put it right here instead. And then we'll put another one down here. Okay. So there's another one. So here are your three cards. Look how quick that was. Well, here's your envelope. This is this envelope. This is this envelope. This one's the pink one. But look how fun that was. How quick and how simple just for if you need, you know, a card for a teacher or whatever, it's there and ready to go. Okay, so let's put these away. And moving on, we have one more box and then I'm going to share a little bit of something else with you. Okay, this one's a lot of fun. I had to put the sticker on what it's called up at the top. So this one's called a Little Smile Card Kit. And this one is $19 because it has an ink pad and it has um, a stamp set. And the ink pad is Coastal Cabana, which I have over here. So surprise, this will be on Sunday's video. <laughs> Happen to have it right next to me. Okay, so we have our twine. We have our ink we have this little cute little little envelope. Okay. Our cards are right here. We have some seashells. It says just a little smile. My day is better because of you. Thank you. It means so much. Um, you are amazing and you made my day special. And then you have some seashells and some little ground um, like sand and a little sand dollar and a little starfish some coral okay so that's our our stuff and this, that's pretty much how far I got so let's see we'll take all of our pieces out again we have our glue dot see here's your block again if you're new to stamping and our directions Oh, Terry, you're like me. We need to get busy. Okay, so here are our directions. So let's start. Um, let's do this one here at the bottom. So here's what they look like. Okay, super fun and easy. So let's do, oh, there's four of them, two of each. So it's eight kit with two different color envelopes and a pouch to put them all in. A little smile. I mean, for $19, this is so cute. Okay, we're going to do this last one. So, it says, you want to grab a palm tree with your sand. And that's what that stamp does, is look at that sand. Okay, so we have that, and then we have a coral, which we have right here. And then we have a starfish, 
Well, let me see if I'm supposed to stamp those. Nope, a coral and a starfish. Okay, starfish. This is coral. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at They're glittery. Ooh, I wonder if they're both supposed to be glittery. Let me see. Nope, just the starfish. So we're going to take a starfish out. It's glittery. Look how pretty that is. All right, Terry. Okay, so here we go. We have our palm tree and we've got some two different envelopes, so I don't know which one we're going to need. So we'll pull um, our card base out, which is this one. Okay, so there's our, they're little cards. They're so cute. These are perfect to drop in gifts. So look at, you have this oceany one. That's the one we're using. We have this, that's like a wood. And there should be one more. Oh, this one. So these are the, the four card bases, the four different card bases. So let's see how many we can do real quick. This is the last of the crafting. I just want to show you something else. Okay, we are going to use, again, these just because they're faster. So I just go like this. But you want to be careful that your, your piece is thick enough. Because if you pull it up, look up, I still have white sticker stuff on me from another kit. If you pull it up, you might rip it. So just be really careful to kind of pull it up where it needs to be pulled up at. And then it says put one here in the middle. And then it says put one on the edge of this little palm right here. Okay. You can also take a pokey tool and just kind of pull it up. That's nice too. All right. So this one says attach it to our card. So let's fold our card. I am done with Christmas cards, believe it or not. I've done my customer cards, my family cards. I have some treats going into the bingos for um, December. And um, I am done with all that. I just have to uh, get everything mailed. <laughs> okay, so we did that. We added that. Now it says add the starfish and the coral. And the coral, it tells you. Okay, we're going to have to go back to the little ones. So there's a reason these little tiny ones are in here. We're going to put one at the bottom of the coral. And we're going to do two tips of our little starfish. So we'll do this one. And if it looks like it's a little bit big, it's okay. You can just kind of roll it in a little bit. And then we'll do this one down here. All right. So it looks like we put our coral first, which is probably why we only put one little glue dot here at the bottom. Because we're going to put the starfish on top. And it looks like our coral is just kind of right over the base of our tree right there. And then our starfish, we're going to take those off and see, just kind of roll it in just so it's inside the paper. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. Did everybody go out shopping today? All right, so now we're going to take our fish here and we're going to starfish and we're just going to kind of bring them down a little bit and add him right there and now we need our sentiment so let's look through all our little pieces here where are the sentiments oh we're stamping hello okay we need um our our piece just our sentiments to stamp on where are they oh they are so we're going to pull out one of these. I like to pull it out instead of stamping it on here because then you can see exactly where your white goes. This one says, my day is better because of you. My day is better because of you. This is such a cute set. And I'm going to use my regular block and I'm going to use my larger ink pad. I like to keep my little reinkers, you know, to give to people that may not have any right away or getting started. Again, I haven't used this, so I'm going to bring back in my mini grid and just kind of stamp off on that. And now we have our sentiment. 
And if you look at this sentiment, see how it's kind of a little longer here? It's not perfectly cut, which kind of gives it like a wave. If you look at it on the picture, it's kind of cool looking. So make sure you look at that on this kit. And I look at the words, whichever words look the straightest. So sometimes the top is straight across and then sometimes the bottom, it's kind of wavy. So just kind of look, I was looking right here to, to make sure it's going to be nice and straight. And now it says to attach this with glue dots. So I'm just going to use these, they're right here. I'm almost out of my other ones. I have to pull them out of the drawer. All right, we're going to pop these off. We're going to add this right at the bottom and it does say put it over your seashell, your starfish. And then it says take some twine. And we're going to add just a tiny little bow. It's funny because this says 12 inches also. So I'm guessing you just kind of gauge your own bow. I'm going to do my own little bow right here. Oh, we'll just do it like this. Just make yourself a little bow. You can use your bow maker or whatever if you have it. This is a tiny bow. It's just a little tiny card. So we're going to make it and then shrink it up. I like to make it on so you don't waste, you know, you can save your thread. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to use a glue dot. And it goes right here. Take your paper off and then just add your little bow right there and it just kind of collages right in there. So cute, huh? So that's just one. Let's do one more really quick. Let's do this one really fast. So this one is we're going to use this. We're going to take a sand dollar. So we're going to still get our glittery. We're going to take a palm leaf, which is right here. Palm leaf. And we're going to use our coral. Thank you, it means so much, is our sentiment. So we're going to use... Okay, so we also have these that give us this wood look. So I just want to make sure if this one has the wood look on it. And it's hard to tell. i got to look at the front. Okay, the wood look one... Yeah, it looks like it is on this one. So... We're going to take one of these. And I don't think it matters, but because this has a sandy look, that's what we're going to go for. Yeah, these are really cute. And then look at this. They go in here. Okay, let's get our little envelope. We'll put this one in the green. I don't think it really... Oh, I guess we can look in the front and it'll show us. No, you can just choose whatever you want. But this one has a lot of... A lot of blue. So I'm just going to put this one in the green. And again, same thing. I'm going to do it like this. So you don't have to keep pulling them in and out of the envelopes. And then this goes in your little pouch. So what a cute stocking stuffer, right? 
make a little a little package and give it to somebody and they've got little cards to add okay so this one right here is really simple it says add your add this so we're going to take a glue dot again are you guys eating leftovers i can tell we're going to bring this one off put it there we're going to take the green leaf same thing now if you choose you can turn these leaves over and add a different color or do what you want this is going to be behind so i'm not worried about the the green on the bottom and then we'll just add one right about there in the middle so we can add our little glue dot here and this one they're so small you could just move them in a little bit with your finger and it stays right on the leaf all right and then this one goes right here like this just kind of out and then again it says glue dots and put this right here just kind of over it and then we're doing the thank you all right and then this color same thing Coastal Cabana. And just stamp it on. Look how pretty. It's so beachy, right? All right. This one I'm going to pop up. It says um, glue dot. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do glue dots because they're all fitting in this little envelope. So think about that when you're making it too and it says just put three and the glue dots hold very well so they're very very sticky all right and this goes just over your sentiment there and you could put everything up a little higher i went a little lower it looks like but you could put a little higher because it's showing the sentiment up above up here and so i'm just going to go right about there just so it shows all your so this could have gone up a little higher and then again it says put a little bow There we go. Another glue dot right there. Add your bow. And there you go. So you have another little card. Now this one, we could tie this in right here. I love the beach. It could be a Pismo beach or an Avila beach. I love them both very much. Okay, so there we go. Get your little. So there's two of the cards. There's one. Here's one. Look how cute this set is. Again, this set is right here. The only one we did not make is this one here and this one here okay it's all right there and then you've got this with your little envelopes eight cards a little pouch so cute and this one's a little smile card kit and so you can just put all your little thank yous and everything and you could put them all the same sentiment you could all they could all be little thank you cards and then you have your little pouch that you could just 
give to somebody. You could put a little sticker on or a bow or whatever, and there you go. You could take some of this twine inside the lid and put a little bow right there. Be really, really cute. So this is a great, great set with all kinds of pieces in it still. And you'll have leftovers. Um, so that's something to think about too, is you will have leftovers. As I'm finding little pieces that need to go with other sets. Um, but you'll have them and so you can keep them and create your own. You have this stamp set now and you could create all kinds um, of different little cards and stuff and you can make your own. You don't have to have all this stuff. You could use the stamps, you know, ongoing. Let me clean up my mess. And now the only other thing I wanted to show you is for those that don't do kits and are not sure how to use them or what to do, just a quick little thought on Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is just like the kits. In fact, a lot of those kits were Paper Pumpkins, right? So just a quick note, in um, this earlier, right before October, before Halloween, we got these cute little treat boxes that we made that a lot of people used alternative things. So if you do Paper Pumpkin, you could go to the Paper Pumpkin Facebook page and get tons of different ideas, okay? Here's a couple. This one's called So Cool. This was an older one. The, you can't get these anymore. I want to give you an idea of what the paper pumpkins look like or how you can change them up. Um, I used, I think, baby wipes on this one and created it with just a baby wipe. So here are the card ideas. Okay, so this these were just a rainbow like this okay or they were just this was my template that I did my watermelon out of so you could do a watermelon so I did these here watermelons pieces so you could change them up and make them into all different kinds of things okay so Think about that as you're looking at kits and you think, oh, I don't know that I would do this, then don't. But look, I took this whole lollipop or this um, ice cream and it's super heavy. It's on heavy cardstock. I took some DSP, some bling, some ribbon. I added a strip in here and that's of some DSP that we had. And so just kind of change them up to suit your need. But you're still going to get a ton of labels. And another thing about Paper Pumpkin is if you really like a kit, you can go back in and buy the refill. And so the refill is everything, but you don't get the stamp set and the ink. Okay, you'll get the paper, you'll get your twine, you'll get everything that you need. And if you're looking at this kit, this, I believe was like a bonus pack. We got like some stickers in here. So you get things like that, you know, randomly. And then look at these envelopes. How cute are these? So you could use these envelopes for something else too. So, I mean, this is really cute. I didn't have to do this. I could have just cut that lolly, this, this popsicle off and put it on here. But there's just different things that you can do and because we have coordinating colors you can buy some other you know embellishments and things to use for these cards at one time we had this ice cream paper which is where this paper came from and that paper came from and this paper came from so this was with the the ice cream dsp but that went away but they kept the ice cream set because we do have an ice cream stamp set. So those are things to think about because um, they all coordinate. And Stamping Up has been really good about changing things up where it coordinates with things that are already in the catalog, things that you can get. Here is another one that I can't wait to do. And there, I did buy the refill somewhere. I can't find it right now, but this one I haven't even touched yet. 
So this one was called The Adventure Begins. Okay, so look at this. What a great set. Let your light shine. Explore. Congrats. The world awaits you, which is really cute for a baby card. Um, let the adventure begin. Dream big. Aim high. Little butterflies. Or you can make those little night flies. Okay, this is uh, Garden Green. So I'll show you. This is how the kits come. And the paper pumpkin. But I had already tore into all those other ones. But So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get your ink pad and your stamp set. Now, the paper pumpkin's also listed below, and it is a subscription. So you can just automatically get it. There's so many times where people buy one at a time, and then a set will come that they wish they would have gotten, and they didn't, and then they don't get it, and then they were sad. So this one is, those are the cards. Look how cute those are. Not only that, but they fold. And I have one of these open somewhere. I just couldn't find it. So I'll just show you. Again, this is what your refill kit's going to be like. Okay. And you can only get the refill kits if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. So if you like this kit, and let's say you kept this, and then you bought the refills, you could have a class and just use this and use the refills. The refills are like $10. So, again, you get your dimensionals, your um, glue dots, and you get some sequins. Look how pretty these envelopes are. So, these are the envelopes. Okay. And it looks like you get nine. So, here are the cards. So, here is the first one. And it looks like you poke this out. You leave your lantern there. Look how cute this is. And I'm just going by the picture. Okay, so you're going to open this up, take this out, boom, there's your card. Look at this. How cute is that? So these are great, great, great cards for people that, you know, just might need a card. Or And now you're going to stamp your butterfly. It shows you on here. But then again, of course, it's just like the kits. And you have your instructions. And it's going to show you to stamp your, I say butterfly, but I know it's a, um, I want to say a night fly. What's that called? <laughs> um, firefly. We don't have them here. Firefly. Um, but yes, and these would be awesome shaker cards. And then you put, let your light shine because they're going to put the, the fireflies where the glowing's at. Isn't that adorable? So that's one card. Okay. And then here again, you have your tree. I'm trying to do it quickly. I don't want to break anything or rip it, but there you go. Okay. Boom. Throw that away. Close that up. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, what a great masculine card, right? A lightning. I think they're fireflies is what they're called. Oh, we also oh know them as lightning bugs. Oh, I never heard of that. We don't have fireflies here, but they're so cool looking on TV. Okay, so look how pretty that is. And yes, you could make shaker cards out of them. You could cut this, okay? You could cut this, put this as your first layer, put your acetate here, put all your adhesive on there, pop this on here onto a thick card base, and now you've got a shaker card. Okay, so that's card number two was that one. And then on this one, you add a sentiment and you're adding some sequins on there. So see, here it is. Okay, so you're adding your sequins, adding a sentiment. You're popping up. You're going to stamp another tree or pop a tree on there. Let's see what we got. Oh, gosh, this is amazing. Look at this. Oh, look at this. You got food trees. So this tree looks like it's, you're going to stamp on top of this, these little squiggle lines on the tree. As, or maybe they stamped this. One. No, it's this tree. So you're going to take this tree. Be careful because you've got the white part below. And this is where you stamp your sentiment. 
and then you just pop it right here. How cute is that? So that's that's another card. And then the last card is this cute little, you have four of each it looks like. So there's 12 cards on this one. Again, pop this out. So the refills are totally worth it. So if you're interested in $22 a month is what this is for a subscription, you know it's coming, you're not going to miss out on it. Every month there's there's pieces in there that are worth it. You could do something with it. Look at that. And then you could take this tree. It shows. And you pop this back here. But you can stamp on it. But how cute would these be to make these little Christmas trees? Like these are your Christmas cards. But you, this is what they did is they took the, these lines and they stamped it on there. Because you're going to see it's given it kind of some dimension on there. I know it's so hard when I try to go close. But anyway, there's some ideas of what the paper pumpkin's about. Of what the kits are about. Now the kits, you would buy directly. You just go, like I showed you, you're going to go over to my page. And you're going to go here and you're just going to click on available kits. Or here's where you can join Paper Pumpkin. Okay, so both of them are right here. Then you're going to go, it's, it'll take you to the kits and you can kind of see what's available for kits. Some of these are Paper Pumpkin refills. So, for example, let's see. A Paper Pumpkin refill, and I don't think I have them on here. These are all the kits. Okay, so... These are all the kits, but if you go to the paper pumpkin, you're going to be able to see what the refills are if you choose paper pumpkin. I hope that makes sense to you. So then you can see what refills there are for your paper pumpkins that you have that you might want. And the refills are $10 because you're not getting, um, you know, the, the stamp and the ink and uh, I, I think the packaging, I think it just comes in a small package. Uh, just like I pulled this out. That's how it's going to come. So anyway, um, just a fun thought for those that are looking for some gift ideas, stocking stuffers. Um, the kits are one-time things. You can get the, uh, the, uh, the paper pumpkin as a one-time thing. Or you can get it as a subscription. That way you don't have to mess with it. You don't have to worry. You know it's coming. And you're not going to miss out on your kit that once you start seeing it, you're going to be like, oh man, I wish I would have got it. So this month's kit is right here. It's almost, the subscription time is almost over. It is lots of pun. It's going to be an excellent, excellent kit for any occasion. So it's going to be punny little uh, things. Now, I have to tell you that the last time one of those came out, um, it went fast and it also was in high demand. People really were looking for it and it was not available. So um, don't, don't miss out on that. And last but not least, my bingo is up and ready for registration. I am working on the kits now and we are, I will be commenting or posting on my Facebook page, which is Marcy Bessaker Designs, on what stamp sets I'll be using for bingo. So far, I have uh, Days to Remember and Color and Contour. And those are what um, I've worked with so far. And the Color and Contour is a fancy fun fold uh, per your request. So that will be... Um, I'm coming up in the bingo for December. I can't even remember what month it is. So Sunday's card is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I used two different stamp sets. One for the sentiment and one for the, a different one for the images. And I used stencils and blending brushes and Wink Estella and some embellishment. And that's all I can tell you. So it's going to be a great card on Sunday at noon Pacific time here 
on my YouTube. I hope to see you guys there. I hope the kits were helpful. Thanks, everybody. I'm glad. I'm glad you liked them. And I hope that you guys will um, see me on Sunday and join me for bingo. Bingo, you can sign up. You can go to my blog, boop, over there, and join up for bingo. Just go to events, and then downwards, it'll say uh, bingo. Click there, look for December's bingo, and you can uh, join there and pay. I hope you guys had a great day, a great Thanksgiving. I hope it was relaxing. Don't eat too much. Have a piece of pumpkin pie for me, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me.